we're living through very difficult political times, I think, to say the least, aren't we? We're going through a, a political earthquake. Storm clouds are gathering, uh, not just over the party and politics in general, but definitely over the NHS uh, in Greater Manchester. And while I wouldn't disagree with anything that you've, you've heard so far this morning, I think we have to wake up to the seriousness of the situation that is happening on the wards, uh, in the GP surgeries, in the NHS across Greater Manchester. We have got hospitals in year-round crisis. The a &E crisis is now a year-round phenomenon. The pressure on hospitals, in my view, is unsustainable. They will not be able to cope. The staff won't be able uh, to cope. We've got mental health services in crisis. You know, we are not any different, sadly, from the rest of the country. We had figures recently that in 2015, 28% of children referred to mental health services for support received no support at all and were turned away. That, frankly, is a national scandal and it needs to be described as such and it's happening here in Greater Manchester. We've got social care close to collapse, councils uh, cut uh, to uh, the bone. People can't get a GP appointment. That's the reality of the health service here in Greater Manchester and Ivan's absolutely right. The devolution deal doesn't provide enough to deal with all of those, all of those uh, problems. Uh, and I, you know, you may remember as Shadow Health Secretary, I, I expressed concerns about how that deal was done. It, it wasn't a deal that was talked about with me at the time as Shadow Health Secretary. Uh, I didn't know, and I still don't know, whether there's sufficient funding security, i.e. in the old NHS way, will the rest of the NHS stand behind Greater Manchester if unpredictable problems arise? We still don't know the full answer to that question. Will they be able to deviate from competition policy? Again, there's not a clear answer uh, on that question. So the manner in which this deal was done, I think, says something unhealthy about the way politics is done, and that needs uh, to change as well. So the, the challenges here are enormous, and you, we can, the opportunities are there too, but let's first focus on what the Tories might do with this. We've got potentially a right-wing uh, group of Tories coming in now, people who've driven around the country with an NHS lie on a coach and the... Uh, and the logo, utter charlatans who've never done anything other in their careers than undermine uh, the NHS. You know, that is the reality of what we're facing. And in those circumstances, you need somebody who has got the right leadership, the right values when it comes to the NHS, but then also the right vision for its future to try and take it through. So let me quickly focus on those three things. Number one, leadership. As Health Secretary in 2009, I was the person who took a stand against new Labour health policy, who made a break with it. I said that I wasn't prepared anymore to sign up to the idea that the market is the answer to everything. In my view, the market is not the answer to 21st century health and care. I did that. Did people come out to support me? No, they didn't. I was on my own. Progress were denouncing me. I was the, the devil incarnate to them. But I'd said it. Why? because I had a different vision for where our health service should go. I had been inside the Department of Health through those years, the reforms that Ivan and Tony described, but I had come and I had the chance, when I was in that seat, I showed leadership and I changed policy and I changed direction. And then I carried on that journey in opposition and I said clearly Labour should take a stand against the entirety of the Lansley reforms. And I stood with some of you outside Manchester Town Hall campaigning against them. I walked with 50,000 people through this city campaigning against them. We all did that together because I changed Labour policy on health back to what our value should be. And that brings me on to the second point. The market clearly isn't the answer to 21st century health and care. I personally don't believe that things like personal budgets will take you to the right place. It will, they'll bring fragmentation of services. That's what the market does. That is what competition in the end does. In the 21st century, when care is becoming more complex, fragmentation is, the, is the, completely the wrong answer. You need integration of services. And those are the values that I have spoken to and stood for as Health Secretary and as Shadow Health Secretary. So let me finish on this last point, vision. Given all of the challenges that the NHS in Greater Manchester faces, from day one, this Mayor will need to come in and say, this is how I see things. This is how, not we build utopia, this is how we help our NHS cope in the difficult situation that it is in. I will set out now, within 
days of uh, taking uh, office. I'll actually probably do it as Labour's candidate if you select me. My vision for a national health and care service here in Greater Manchester. That is what I want to do as your mayor. That is what I want to build. I want your support to help me do that. I want to take social care out of the private sector and bring it in to the public NHS. We will never get the care we want for older and vulnerable people in the 21st century from a care system based on 15 minute visits given by staff on zero hours contracts. It will not happen. I will work with our councils to bring that funding that they put into those private care companies to bring it in to the NHS so that we can start in the home and completely change the model of care put a highly integrated team around the vulnerable person in their own home. Bring those social care staff on to the NHS pay system. Give them some respect and some opportunity to progress into the NHS. Empower people to get the care that they want and treat them where they want, including letting them be in their own home at the end of, end of their life. There's so much more I could say about it, but this is a vision for the NHS of the 21st century that is person-centred and deals with all of their needs, physical, mental, social. Leadership, values, vision, that's what the NHS needs in Greater Manchester right now. It's why I believe I'm the right man to take it forward.